This time on Sightseeing Spot Facts, we're taking a look at the stone heads of Easter Island. First, let's have a look at the home of these monolithic statues, Easter Island itself. The island is located in the Pacific Ocean and is part of a region called the Polynesian Triangle, with Hawaii and New Zealand at opposite ends and Easter Island at the southeastern point. It's extremely isolated, lying 2,000 kilometers away from the nearest inhabited island and 3,500 kilometers away from the nearest continent, South America, where Chile has held claim to the island for the last 130 years. The island is small. In fact, you could drive around it in just one or two hours, if a road existed. But some parts of the island are only accessible on foot, especially the three points of the island where the three extinct volcanoes lie. It's been known as Easter Island for the last 300 years, since 1722, when the first Europeans discovered it by chance on Easter Sunday, hence the name. However, it has had many, many names throughout history given to it by various explorers who landed here. The name the indigenous Polynesian settlers came to use was Rapa Nui. It's thought the Rapa Nui people built these statues between 1250 and 1500, making them around 500 to 800 years old. Known as Moai, which translates to statue, they are presumed to be the deified ancestors of the Rapa Nui, prominent kings or chieftains who were important to their respective clans. About 1,000 Moai are dotted around the island, mostly along the coastal areas. Some stand alone, while others stand lined up on large stone platforms called Ahu. They all have disproportionately large heads, long ears and noses, deep-set eyes, protruding lips and large chins. What looks like a red hat can be seen on some Moai, but it's now thought to represent hair, as the Rapa Nui men of high status would typically wear their long hair in a bun on top of their heads. Interestingly, these Pukau, as they are known, were a much later addition, probably added to certain Moai with higher importance. Also added to higher status Moai were coral eyes, which were placed into the eye sockets of some Moai. The average size of the statues is around 4 meters tall and weigh 14 tons, but the largest one erected was this one at 10 meters and weighing 80 tons. It's thought to have fallen over or been knocked over around 180 years ago. Most Moai were carved from volcanic rock on the slopes of a volcanic crater called Rano Raraku. This place used to be a quarry for hundreds of years and shows us how the Moai were carved from the rock. Using stone basalt tools, the Rapa Nui carved the statues out of the rock, beginning with the top and sides and ending with the back. The statue was then slid down a slope into a ditch standing upright, where the back could be properly finished and decorated. Around the quarry, we can see unfinished statues in various stages of completion, as well as many finished moai seemingly left on the slopes, never to reach their intended coastal positions. This moai here, if finished, would have been the tallest one ever, at 21 metres, and weighing a hefty 150 tonnes. As for how they were transported, two archaeologists have proven that it was possible to walk the moai to their intended locations. They noticed that the bottom of the moai were angled and couldn't stand up without a rope at the back. When two side ropes were attached, the statue was rocked left to right, and because of the statue's inclination to fall forward, this led to it slowly moving forward. Just 18 people walked the statue 100 metres in 43 minutes. A very noticeable feature of the Moai is that almost all of them face inland and not out to sea. Why this is is not really known, 
but some say it was to protect and watch over villages and to encourage a sense of community among the people and keep them united. The few that do face outwards, like these seven Moai, probably face out to sea to help sailors find the island. By about 1870, all the Moai were lying on the ground. Some theories suggest that the Moai fell due to tribal wars, European contact, or natural disasters like earthquakes and tsunamis, but the actual cause remains unknown. What is certain is that Easter Island continues to surprise us. As of 2023, statues are still being discovered, so it's possible that we haven't yet fully uncovered the secrets of this fascinating island and its history. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.